Okay, let me know if everybody can hear me. I wasn't I wasn't really talking yet because <clears throat> concerning my voice here today. Uh, but let's just do a review. I'm gonna watch two things this morning. Why? Because there's two good things. It's actually two really good things. <sighs> let me just quickly look at this. So fossils in the middle here, and the main one is MBAS. And I put all the numbers in the room. Let's quickly look at the market. Market held yesterday. Look at that. It's just amazing. Yeah, I'll look at the CTL then, Jaffa. But there is a, there is quality gaps here today for us to do to the downside. I, we may have the market with us today, but don't count on it being some crazy big move. Like, for example, even if the market comes in a little bit here this morning in the first 30 minutes or the first hour, don't expect something crazy. It's almost like no matter what the market could do today, it's going to still be bullish. And Rax didn't do what I wanted it to do. Just didn't. I gotta turn the heat up. Um, I'll look at this one. Is there any other, anything else anybody wants me to look at? <coughs> I have the heat at eighty-two. I can always just put it up to ninety and walk around in my shorts. <laughs> I'll have to keep adjusting it. Uh, this is just a gap. I wouldn't do anything with this. Okay, so fossil is going to be wild, but it is a good gap. The main one is this, which I have traded before. It will have a spread. I might do both. I've got to be honest with you. I could go either way here. I could do both of these today. I might just do that. Okay. Like I would take the first one that sets up. Scale quickly out of one of them and hold another one for the target. What do I think is the one to hold to the target today if it goes? Fossil. Fossil. And I did put the numbers in the room. But they're like absolutely like incredible actually what the targets are for these. You could watch this, but it basically got to the dream number yesterday. And I don't think anybody held it, but I watched it. And I didn't feel good yesterday. It was one of those days where, you know, if you don't feel 100%, you really shouldn't trade. But this, that, I had a nice eye on that yesterday morning. I mean, I just made a great call on that. I. I called that entry at 9.31 before that even transpired, and it went to the dream target. So let's not worry about the market, shall we? Let's just live in our world and forget the market and do the gaps, okay? Any questions on anything? XOM isn't anything I like. BSX is nothing I like. I don't care about the reason I don't like the gap. When we're done trading today, we'll go over the plays and from yesterday. I wouldn't worry about the market today. Let's focus here on trade and make money today. So, good luck everyone. Do your thing. I don't know what I'm doing first. But I did put the numbers in the room and you should know where you're going with these things. FASA will have a large stop. I don't think it'll be more than a dollar in an ideal world. In an ideal world, Fossil works today, sets up immediately and goes, has a stop that's a dollar or less, and goes to 78. Okay. The 
clock is really off here. I have my phone up, but this, this clock is off again. Look, it's not 9.30. Pay attention to me this morning. Everything is a short. If you're in here in trial, just watch. Ooh, look at that 30 cents came out of nowhere. Look at that. Okay, yeah, you have to wait for these things to set up. That's all I can say. The stop on the MDAS is going to have to be 45. I don't have the entry yet. I don't have the entry yet. And I didn't call anything yet on Fossil. Stop's going to be 45, though, for MDAS. Beck, let's do 99 by 45. That's bigger than I wanted it to be, but 99 by 45 is valid on MDAS if it sets up. And fossil, oh, hold on, maybe I'm going to do fossil first. Hold on. Fossil, let's do 85 by, it's going to have to be 70. 85 by 70. 85 by 70 fossil. 85 by 70 fossil. I'm not watching MDIS right now. I'm not watching this. I think this is going to set up first. I just flipped now. I'm going to do the fossil. 85 by 70. No, oh, I figured. Here we go. Wait. Just don't take this until it hits. I'm not watching the other one now. Jeez. Okay, I'm not in anything yet. Wait, nothing's set yet. Nothing's set up yet. Don't do anything yet. Wait. Okay, all the numbers in this are off. And I'm watching this. This could still hold in here. Okay, don't do this. Don't do this right now. I'm not saying it's off, but wait. I'm not in anything yet. <sighs> okay, I'm not in a thing yet. Oh my gosh, eighty-five twenty. Eighty-five twenty 85, 20 is the is the stop for fossil. You know, I'm gonna do forty-nine. I'm gonna do eighty-four forty-nine. Stop eighty-five twenty. Hold on, that's it. 49 by 20, I'm doing the fossil if it hits. And if it has a different number, I'll give it to you. This is a lot going on in here. Stop is over, 20 cents over the number, 85.20, and I'm hitting it at 49. This is fossil. This is actually not half bad here for this entry. There, there, there it is! Get it! Get it! Get the stop in! Get the stop in! Fossil! There. Oh, my gosh. There. You have to be in this now. Right now. Right now, Fossil. Hold on. Let me check the stop. That was it, people. Man, oh, man. Man, I almost just got it barely in time. Here it goes. Man, was that good. Oh, my Lanta. Here. I can't even talk. I have no voice. Um, let me go over this one here. No, nope, I don't see anything in here yet. <sighs> Stop on this has to be 90. It's way too spready. 40 by 90, MDAS. I'm, I, I'm in this. I'm in this, and I might not do the other one because it hasn't set up yet, and the stop is really, really big, and this is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. But honestly, if you feel like you need to do this, you have to give this. this it's not even setting up yet. It's not even setting up yet. Let me just look at this one here. No. Uh, no, no, no. Hey, here. All right, hold on. Where are we going with this? I have nothing, nothing at all until, oh my gosh, look at the target I put for this. <gasps> Hold on. Oh my gosh, here, listen, do whatever you want to do. You can scroll up in the room and see the targets I put for this. I'm telling you, this is going to 80 without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going to hold as much of it as long as I can, but do whatever you want to do. This is up to you and you should have known what you're doing this before you even took the trade.
So you know what? You got to decide what you're doing before you take these. I made up my mind. Let me get the two minute up here. Everyone should have been able to get that. I gave you a smashing entry on that, by the way. Smashing. And if I hadn't said that number, we wouldn't, we would have got in it at a terrible price, probably. Um, I don't know how I saw that. Uh, look at this here. The market is trying to hold. And what was the other one? No, nothing. Let me just make sure that we have, yeah, we, we have, we have plenty of room here. This is, I did everything right. We have plenty of a cushion. This is absolutely fine. Okay. Okay, so let's go over this. If you're in it, the stop is 85.20. You could have gotten out of some in there because that thing just had to move. But I looked at this and then I just looked at my numbers and I said, oh, my Lanta. I'm in the whole thing still. Do whatever you have to do. Do whatever you have to do to make money, basically, is the point. This is going to break again. I, I'm not taking any more because I don't want to screw around with the stop. And honestly, the stop always has to be where I say it has to be. It just always, always does. But you, you could you could take more of this here. If for some reason you all got all out of that, which I have no idea why you would have, but if for some reason, well, the move, but if for some reason you did, uh, you can take more of this. But honestly, you know, stop's got to be 84.50, and that's really tight. It's, it, 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 it's a dollar. You, you, could, you could short this with a dollar stop when it breaks again. I'm not going to. I'm just keeping what I got. It's way past my original price though to take anymore. But this could drop another five, six dollars. It's literally this is this is it. This is a trade we've been waiting for. Yay! And thank you. Um let me just look here. Yeah, I didn't call it anything in this, but you could have done it. It looks like it was wild. This is a piece of crap and didn't rate well anyways. And here, hold on. You could do this right in here. The stop has to be I you could put it at 80. You could do this. If you did this and watched it on your own, you could put the stop at 80 for MDIS if you want to do it. It's not a perfect number in here. You could do this. I'm just, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Actually, you have to really give it 85. I'm just staying with this one. I love this, and I'm not doing this. And I was going to do two, but I changed my mind. I'm staying with the fossil. This is late, but you could do it. It's okay. It's going to go. I put the targets in the room for this. And you know what? Right now, the target for this is $16.27, $16.25, $16.50. $16 MDAS, there if you want it. If you didn't do the fossil, if you don't like the price point, there you go. I'm staying with this. You could do the MDAS. You could have done it on your own a little bit better of a number. <coughs> and this market is just, I mean, here. You could do this again right in here, but the stop has to be 84.50, and I'm not doing that, and I'm not lowering the stop, and I'm keeping what I have with this whole thing. And this you could do. It is whippy as all get out. This is a whip monster. Be careful. This is actually trading nicer than that thing, which is crazy, but it's true. All right, so I'm very relaxed here today. We're doing one thing. If you did two things, that's fine. You have to be careful with the MDAS until it breaks the low. But it did just have a move, much bigger stop than I ever thought that would have. Um, and we'll see what we do with this. I didn't take any more of this. Have the original entry. We have plenty of a cushion in this. I probably don't even need that cushion now. In fact, let's just look at this. No, I'm just going to, every time, I just stay with it. Stay with it. Okay, who's in what? Who's in what? Who got out of this whole thing? Who didn't do it? Who did the other one? What of it? Who's doing what I'm doing? What's your story today? Occupation time of the day is 940.
Dave's in one thing fossil, red's in both. That's fine. I could even call the market long, but I'm not going to do it. But I could. It's like ridiculous, but I could. Jax, please send me an email to remind me to refer you to a broker because I forget if I did that last week and I know I said I was going to because you're going to have to change places because you just will, which I figured. And I forgot, I think. Unless I did. I think I forgot. Here, you could do this right now. Uh, this MDAS, right in here, perfect price. 50 by 75, 50 by 80 if you want to be tight. You could do 75 because this should just break. 80 or 85 if you don't want to be tight. This is trying to still do it. Oh, my lanta, look at this. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not doing anything wrong. It's not doing anything wrong at all in the world here, this fossil. So don't get all excited just because it hasn't broken the low here through here yet. Here it goes. Here it goes. You got to be in it. You have to be in this right now, the second. If you're not in it, you're not going to get it. Fossil right here. Here it goes. Man, this is going to be a huge play. I mean, the whole thing, and I'm going to hold as much of this target. I'm going to hold as much of this trade as I can to $80. Let's see what kind of mojo I got here today. Oops. And I'm not doing anything else, but be careful if you did this. Ooh. Here, here, here's another one if you want one. You can short this right here, put the stop at 5280. G R M N. It's 60 cents if you want another trade. This is going to break down. It looks like this could go actually to 51. I, I'm not doing anything else. There's no reason. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's gorgeous. Here, did anyone not do it? Oh my gosh, just watch it sell off. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Great job. Great job, and I'm still feeling under the weather, but I'm coming back. Uh, what a great entry in that. I actually called it before it even did anything. I just threw the numbers out in the air. Here it goes. Let me just see who's here and who's not. Dave, you took more. That's very aggressive of you. You gotta hold it now. If you do an ad, you have to hold this to get a push in it. You're getting the push here through 83. You don't want to add and then quick take some off right away. So you let it push down. Here it goes. Under 83. Fossil. Here it goes. This is a great call. I wish I had a voice. I wish I could talk. I know. It's the same thing, trader gal. Here, hold on. No, it's still going to keep going. It's going to go through 83. Don't take it. Don't take it. It's going to keep going. I know it. Stay with it. Try to hold it. Try to see what kind of you got. I know it's going to break 83. You're being tested here. Here it goes. Time of the day is great. 845. Here it goes right through the whole number. Just let it kaboom right down. Just go right all the way down. Boo. And that's what I'm talking about. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Great. And I don't know if Brett's in here or not. Brett, are you in here? There's too many people in here today I can't see. Uh, I, I hope you're holding this if you did it. Yes, indeedy. Red is good. It's the color of the stock swish. Okay, if you did an ad, you could take a little off there through the break. What happened with this? Man, this is really desperately trying to fix itself. It's, you could do this if you want. I mean, it is desperately trying to go, but the problem is it hasn't yet. Okay, one more push down in here. Let's see if I can get this down into 10 o'clock. I'm not going to hold the whole thing past 10. One more big pusher down into here. Let's see if I can get this down past 10 o'clock. It's a good trade. It's all about the end trade, people. Jeez Louise.
Let's see here. The market's just, you know, the market's so strong. I mean, it's just, what can I say? But, ooh, ooh, I just saw an invisible tick. Did everybody just see that? I just, I almost missed it. Did anybody just see that? Did anybody just have it? Did you see it? I just saw it. <clears throat> here it goes. It's going to break again. Okay. Here. Uh, all right. Just help. I'm not going to stay in this entire thing all the way down here for the rest of my life. I am going to get out of half of this soon. <clears throat> Come on. Go another $2 for us. Go. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This could actually break $80 today. And I'm not even kidding you. It's not like I'm even here. I'm just, it's not even like that isn't even the dream target. That's not even the dream target. That's the thing. $80 is the target. It's not even a dream target. Like that is the target. The dream target, 78. Oh my gosh, here it goes. Do your best. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Let this 15, this 15 minute is going to go swipe underneath itself and go like that. Try to let it do it. It's, I see it. It's happening. Here it goes right now. This is it. It's doing it. Do you see this? I saw it was going to do it. Let's try to stay with this trade. We need days like this, people. It's earning season. We deserve it. 100%. 100% conviction. And I didn't have time this morning to talk about anything else, really. And I was just so in my head. There was just a lot to focus on. And I wanted to make sure we got the right thing. Here we go. <laughs> Can we just keep going? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. This is a beautiful trade. Hello. All right, so. <laughs> I'll read what Anna said in a minute. It's hilarious. Anna's like performing like rituals and voodoo dolls like to get the trades <laughs> and all you have to do is just do the class and you don't have to like perform like rituals and voodoo dolls before the <laughs> all right hold on 82 <laughs> i know here hold on i'll read what you wrote in a minute though i have to pay attention this is a beautiful look at this oh man here hold on I'm, I'm, I'm out of some of this when it breaks through 82. Half, 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 half. Let it try to break 82, though. You can get out of the whole thing if you want. Oh, crap. Should we get out of 75% of it? Oh, man. What should we do? Hold on. This is getting big now. No. Well, I'm going to take half out. I'm really going to stick to what I originally said. What I originally said, here. I can't read anything anyone's saying right now because I'm getting ready to get out of half this trade. And if you want to take the whole trade out, whenever I take out of half, you could. But I'm telling you, this goes to $80 today. I don't have 100% conviction that that happens. Here, look at this. Man. Oh, man. It's going to break 82. Just let it do it. I really am a shorting queen. Look at what we did today, people. Look, we're going to go over this when we're done. Look, who? Look, here it goes. Do you have any idea what guts it takes to do what we did today in stock at this price point? A stock like this where we did this trade? Here. This is it. Hand in the button to get out of half soon. <laughs> I have no voice and I can't even clap. Oh, my gosh. Just let it go down. You know what? If this gets to 81, I'm taking it all out. Here, I just got out of half. I just got out of a half. That's, I have to. Hold on. Wait. All right. Stop back in for the rest at the original place, but do whatever you want. You could get out of the whole thing there. Stop back in for the original. If you want to get out of the whole thing, that's up to you. I really think this is going to 80. Let's just take a look. That was really, I mean, this is great. You, 
You can't lose in this now. There's nothing you could do to screw up this call if you took it with me. I mean, you literally could walk away, make a cup of coffee, make yourself a scrambled egg and come back. And you couldn't, there's nothing you could do to screw this up here. Nothing. Nothing you could do not to make money in this today. All you had to do was just do exactly what I told you to do. And I don't even know why some of you were looking at other things. I know some of you in here in trials, but I don't even know why some of you were looking at other things. What was the first thing I said in the room this morning? What was the first thing I wrote in the room this morning? What did I say? Let me just look. What did I say? I don't remember what I said. I don't even know. Anyways, um, you could be out of the whole thing. Do, 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 do. All right, but I still have half of this because it's going to 80. Now let me just read some comments here. I can relax. Uh, Anna is saying you have a silver dollar with a bull on one side and bear on one side. You rub the bear every morning. Okay, and you bought a few for some close traders, and they said the silver is thinning out. That is funny. Dave didn't even look at the price until I mentioned it. That's interesting, Dave. <laughs> what if it cost $750 a share? <laughs> Dave's like, I, I didn't notice it was price line. That's like something Surf Dog would do. You and Surf Dog Dave are going to have to get together and have a powwow. Here it goes. Fossil. This is it. This is a trade. One right through at 10 o'clock. Into 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 15. Go Fossil. Let's look at the market. Hold on. Let's pay attention to what we're doing here now. And this is actually working too. But I didn't do it. But you could have. And you actually could have. And Dave, uh, no. Jeff did this. Jeff B did this. That was a nice drop on there. I said 51. This is basically it. Be out. Boom, that's it. 5105. I said this is going to get to 51. Man, who am I? Whew. 80. 80 or bust for the rest of this. And Garmin be out. And MDAS is working, and Rax is a waste of my energy. All right, so let's just talk a little. Yep, this is the panic selling. Gosh, it really has to do with your attitude. It absolutely has to do with your attitude. So I got up this morning and was in a really good mood. I was not feeling good yesterday. I'm still not 100%. I just wanted to go to sleep. I just wanted to go to bed early and make myself dinner. So I had the TV on. I was watching The Simpsons. I love The Simpsons. It's a it's a it's a it's an adult comedy, even though it's actually a cartoon. And and I was watching The Simpsons and I heard this noise, like a boom. And I muted the television set and I went to the window. I thought it was I thought it was like a band outside or something. Here it goes. Fossil. Here it goes. Here, man. Eighty dollars, I'm telling you. Brent says, great call today, Melissa. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyways, I went to look, and I thought, it, there's so much going on here. Anyways, I thought it was like a band outside or something. Here, it was fireworks. So I missed like the couple, I think I missed like three bursts or something. Like I really got it at the beginning. And it was a 30-minute display. It was right, I went over to my bedroom. You can see it from the living room, but it was a better, closer to the bedroom. It was right in front of my face. I saw the entire thing. The entire thing. I was cooking dinner. I was making steaks and mushrooms. I burnt my dinner. I didn't want to leave. I actually burned the mushrooms and the fillets were not pink. I, I didn't burn the fillets. I ate them, but they were they were slightly overdone. Anyways, I didn't want to leave. The fireworks display was so magnificent that I couldn't leave and I have no memory left in my phone. Here it goes. Here this goes. Here goes the fossil. I have to clean out my phone. I can't take pictures of anything because I have 3,700 pictures on my phone from living here. Look, here it goes. Anyways, it was spectacular. Actually, they were shooting off, it was like green shamrocks in the sky. And I thought to myself, what is this fireworks display? It's a Tuesday night, February 17th. So I called the concierge, or it's Chinese New Year. I have no idea if the city paid for that or the Chinese embassy. I have no idea. Here's going to write the left because the Chinese embassy is close to here. Anyways, it was 30 minutes long. It was fabulous. And I've seen a lot of fireworks displays here. It was so up close up. 
and it was fabulous. Here this goes. Here it goes. Fossil to eighty dollars. It put me immediately in a good mood. I immediately felt happy, uplifted, grateful for my life that I could even see a display like this in my face, up in the sky, because I'm in the sky, and that's why I'm seeing it right. I'm like level with the fireworks. And the, the river is full of ice. It's a sheet of ice. So the lights of the fireworks were actually reflecting off the, off the ice on the river, on the Hudson River. I mean, it was, I almost like cried. It was so spectacular. Here it goes. And I was just in such a good mood. And I got up this morning. And, and, and I have no words here. Look at this. $80 fossil. I should just sell the whole darn thing. <laughs> Mardi Gras. When does the Mardi Gras start, Trader Gal? You have to keep me abreast of that. There's always something going on here. I love living here. I just love it. I don't, I don't know how I'm ever going to leave. I don't know how I can leave this building now. I really don't know how I can possibly leave. Here. <laughs> February 19th is Chinese New Year. Okay. Jaguar Paw, you wanted to do fossil, but you didn't get filled. You were looking at MBAS, and the moment you saw it set up, you you went in. You're glad you did it because you felt good. You did it before I called it. Then you did the ad. You're welcome. Thank you, Jaguar Paw. Here, oh my gosh. Here, hold on one second, everybody. I should have just held the whole thing down. I knew it would go to $80. Do whatever you want to do here. This is a trade. Hold on. $80.78. Hold on. No, I'm not taking a chance here. This is the trade. I'm not letting this get over 81. Do whatever you want to do. I really don't think it does, but I'm not. I'm not. I think it drops another $50. I don't know, but I'm not letting it get over 81. In fact, hold on. Just wait one second. This is, this is it for me. It's 10 o'clock. Here, I'm taking it. I'm out. Out. That's it. Out. Oh my gosh. Perfect timing. Look. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Give myself a round of applause. But I do think this gets to $80. I'm not holding this through a 10 o'clock rally to get it down there. I took the whole trade. This could drop another dollar. It could drop another five. I just took it. Uh, Ana Fossil, nicer three for three for the day. Yes, Jeff B. I am. That is correct. Fancy that. Here, if you want to do this, and still, first of all, if you still want to be in this, I'm telling you, you can just keep, I think it's going to 80. I just took it, though. I had to do it. But you could put the stop at 81. I don't know what would keep you in this. 81.20, 81.15. I just think it's my bounce in here. February 17th is Mardi Gras. Okay. Uh, Dave's bar by barring it. I'm telling you it's going to bounce at 10, but it's, this still has room to go. I'm just saying. I realize that. <laughs> yeah, look at this market. Boy, is this market. Woo. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that you, every second that you feel alive, it, it improves your life. And even if you're down or even if you're sick or even if you have a bad day or an argue with someone or you're feeling under the weather, you know, the one thing I love about New York and what I love about New York and I love about living in this city, and it doesn't matter where you live in this city, but specifically I live in an amazing, amazing place that you could be feeling like crap, down, sick, whatever, and something could happen to you that is amazing because this city is amazing. It's the best city in the world. No matter where I where I am, I'll always have a place in New York. Even if I get married somewhere and buy a house with someone somewhere, I, I will always, always, always have an apartment in this city. When I write my book, whenever that is, there'll be a million stories about New York of things that have happened to me here. CTL, you did that? This worked too. This is this was absolutely ridiculously crappy though. I don't I don't know what you did with this here. Here it, it had no volume, and here's where the volume came in. So I don't know what you did with this, Jaffo. This was unbelievably hard. This is the entry here. This is the trade. This 
I don't know how you could have contended with this. Here's the trade. Boom. Out. And basically, you should be out. <coughs> okay. All right. Let's figure out our lives here. Is anyone still, is anyone in anything? So, Jeffy got out of the GRMN. Jaffa's out of the CTL. Let me look at the MDAS. Is anybody still in the fossil? Is anyone still in this? I just decided to get out of it whenever that was a couple months ago. MDIS. Here, I'm going to call another entry in this. Here you go, people. Right here, 30 by 60. 30 by 60 MDS. Let's see if we can get it down to the whole number of 16. Kamikaze trade if I've ever seen one, but it's going to hit and it's holding and it shouldn't rally yet and it hasn't broken the low. And it's 10 o'clock and it is trying to fix itself. It is still an implementation period here. But if you want to do it, it's a 30 cent risk to go five hours. So if you want it, go for it. I do think you should lower the stop on this, though. For those of you that are in it, put the stop at 60 because it shouldn't go over that number. And if it does, it's not going to work. <sighs> okay, let's look at what we have with our life here. Um, I didn't really look at any longs today. Were there any good longs? Let's just take a look. Oh, uh, what was the one Jennifer wanted to look at? I just didn't like it. Uh, what was it called? I forget. Here, you could, I'm telling you right now, this is a call here. I'm not doing anything else because that would be ridiculous. Uh, but you could. BSX. No, I just let this be. Okay, does anyone in anything they want to talk about? If not, we're going to go over the trades. So I just did a webinar last night, which none of you came to because there'd be no reason for you to come to it because you've done the class unless you're here in a trial. And if you were here in a trial, you probably came. But I did the webinar in shorting, which Dave pointed out because you get some emails. There's definitely an edge to what I do because I like to short. Now that's not to say that we never can go long, but the longs I go long I'm very particular about. I am very particular about them. But then again, I'm particular about everything I do. You just don't realize it because you're not seeing my brain every morning. But actually I'm particular about everything, the shorts and the longs. But it seems like I'm more particular about the longs because I just don't do that many. But I'm actually particular about everything I do. And that gives me an edge as well. But the reason that I like the shorts is because of the panic kind of commotion effect that happens when a stock sells off. And that's what you see in the fossil today. I do watch The Simpsons whenever I can, Dave. It's like a Simpsons marathon all this year for some reason. There's like they're on every night. They're on like all night. But actually, to be honest with you, the Halloween ones are the best. I had taped them all in October. I have 14 more Halloween ones yet to watch. And I was watching a Halloween one last night because the Halloween Simpsons episodes are the best Simpsons. So I'm, I'm getting through the, I've dvr the Halloween ones like four months ago. I never had time to watch them. I'm probably getting caught up on one of my shows. <coughs> Talk about people with a great brain the creators of that show, the writers of that show, the cartoonist, you know. Everything that you do as a skilled person that you're capable of doing is a result of your brain. And I talked about that last night as well. So pat yourself on the back if you did Fossil today. This was very aggressive to do. I called the numbers for this trade before the stock even actually triggered. And why did I do that? I'm able to read price well. The gap rated good. I had 100% conviction. I knew it had huge potential. And there was no fear. Now let's go over it. <clears throat> I estimated it a dollar. We got it under the wire. I mean, what can you expect from the world? 
I figured a dollar, We it wasn't even a dollar, and actually this could have been far, far more than a dollar. Not only could it have been bigger than our stop was, it could have been more than a dollar because the stock price here is 80 some dollars. And it used to be just yesterday up here, almost 100, and was back in here. And whether the stock is here or here or here, it's going to trade the same as it did back here. Like the stock today at, on February 18th is trading the same as it did on February 3rd when it was worth 103.13. It's this is the same stock. And so Netflix actually was, Netflix traded the same when it was 200 something, when it went down to 50 something, it was the same. So you got to know the stock. I really gave this a decent cushion today. Like I was determined as well. And it's, we still have less than a dollar stock. Look at that. So, boom, rallied. Here was the ad. Very far from my original price, so I didn't do it. But you could have. Some of you did. Here's the money move right on down. Time of the day is 9.56 and 32 seconds. I mean, look at this. This is like perfect. Look, oh my gosh, now that I'm seeing this here. But I still think this goes to 80. And actually, if it gets near 80, it could go beyond 80. So you can go back up and look at the numbers in the room, but I can't call another entry in this. You're either still in this trailing it down or that's it. Yeah, let's look at MDS. <coughs> this is a jerky, jerky action. It's not bad, but it's not great. So you let it situate itself. But it tried, and some of you did it. And then you actually had an ad, and some of you did it. And I did call this then. But I will tell you that the time of the day is what? Look at the clock. 10.07. What do you have going on in this thing? Hmm. So there was a short move here. You're up if you did it. But you got to be tight with this, and that's why I said lower the stop to 17.60. This has to trigger in the 15 minute. This is a later play now. You're playing this through into lunch to get this down. The gap is good on this, or I tell you to just kill it because of the time of the day and what this is doing. And the market. But low volume in this thing, that was part of the reason for this turkey jerky action. And once again, I think it was Jennifer was in here yesterday asking something about volume or whatever. This is the situation with the volume problem. This is why this did this. The gap is good, but can you predict something like this is going to happen? No, not all the time because of the volume situation. Now, this morning I said, you know what, I didn't even care because I really said I like this. But as soon as it opened, I was like, Whoa. and then we had something else to look at. Again, this is the volume coming in. And I don't know if this breaks or not. And I'm not saying it needs the market. I'm not saying that at all. And it's not going to have any help in the market. But I'm saying lower your stop is what I'm saying if you did it. And I may have to take a break here and take another pill for my nose. Uh, what was the other one? This I didn't even rate. I called it on the fly. And I would be out of this. Could this continue down to 50 or another crazy number? Yes. Would I take it again in here? No, I wouldn't. It's 10.09. The market is holding bullishly. And this is done. Very tough to enter this aggressively out of the game. But it worked. This was the trade. And I called it. And it went to 51. And this was a good trade here, actually. Jeez Louise. Uh, Jeff B, this is a nice trade, so I hope you sized yourself correctly, and if you did, I hope you held it down. This said a dollar thirty move. This is a solid trade, and was Jeff B the only one that did it? And I called it. This is very difficult unless you have a hundred percent conviction and know what to do. This is the one I called. Boom. Jennifer is still in the MDAS, but she's having second thoughts. <laughs> well, the gap is good, though. So let's see what it does. If you've lost conviction, kill it. You're up money. If you still have conviction, lower the stop to 1760. Just because it hasn't broken 17 right now doesn't mean it's not going to. But the volume was the issue in the morning. That's why you got the jerky action. And that is the situation. 
If you're break even here, you could kill it. Or 1760 would you be break even? I don't know. If you did the fossil, I would just like call it a day. If, that, if, if uh, there's no reason to do anything else, we did the fossil. Did anyone not do the fossil? It looks like Jaguar Paw pressed the button too late and then didn't get filled. Uh, Jax or Jax didn't have it. And Jax is going to have to change brokers. Did anyone else not do this? Surf Dog? Surf Dog didn't do fossil? Why? That's not the surf dog I know. Are you out too late? Too late to get the trade. All right. Well, you could have done this, but I'm not calling this again. And this is still going to try to hold. Let's talk about racks. I almost jinxed us last night by talking about this. I actually think I basically did. <laughs> you know, does anyone remember what I said before I closed out the room yesterday about racks? I think I jinxed us. Uh, so we didn't waste our time with it. it. It absolutely flipped. It literally didn't even end up gapping down then. It ended up opening neutral. It wasn't even a gap then. It just opened neutral and rallied. That's all that it did. Open neutral and rallied right in here. So we, I'm glad we didn't waste our time with it. Kudra says, great day, Melissa. Thank you. See you tomorrow. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so does anyone want to go over anything specifically? We did go over the trades. Does anyone have any questions? Trial people, do you have questions? Regular people, do you have questions? Did anyone not do the fossil besides Surf Dog and uh, Jaguar Paw? Did anyone do the fossil and make a boo-boo, like a big mistake? Take it too late, size yourself wrong, get out late, get out too early, what? Galahad, you've been having major issues with sizing. Write in the room how many shares you took of this today and where you got out. I want you to write it in the room. And on the days when I say that there's good gaps, those of you that miss them, that press it too late, you know, when I say there's things to do, that there's really, 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 really good gaps, okay? You got to have your coffee. You have to, like, be awake. My voice is hurting here right now. I'm not feeling, like, 100% in my voice, so I can't scream like I would normally tell you. You got to pay attention to be alert. When I get back to normal, look at this. Look, this is going to $80. I'm not, I'm not in this anymore, and I'm not taking it again, but it is absolutely going to $80. But, you know, you can't miss these calls. I mean, this is why you're here, for Pete's sakes. And Galahad, write in the room how many shares you took of this and where you got out of it. Write it in the room. Be accountable. I want to see it. I want to see how you size yourself today. This is going to $80. And you know what? If it goes to 80 it's going to 70 something This is crazy. I'm, I, I, this is, I can't even call this here. But what can I say? Look, here it goes. I knew it would go to 80. I should have just held this whole thing down to 80 because I knew it would go there. Here it goes. It's just going to go right now. 1014, but that would be ridiculous to hold up. I mean, after up that much money and that kind of move, but I know it's going. All right, let's look at tonight. And Galahad, you're not writing anything in the room. I want to know how many shares you took and where you got out of this. And tell me if anybody made a mistake today in this. Well, I'm here to help you to go over it. Look at this. This is beautiful. Okay, am I talking to myself? Galahad isn't answering me. I'm guessing everyone else did it perfectly then. Uh, let me just look here. Let's see what it's out tonight. Jeffy is trading. Jeffy, why would you still be trading anything? You just did 50 things I called today and they all worked. 
Someone needs to strap your hands into your seat. You're up money. Take it and run. Okay, in MDAS, that's fine. Line 38 took half out of fossil when it broke back over 83 the first time. Fine. And the rest out of 81. Fine. Wonderful. This is, this is, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like, I almost have to turn it off. Um, all right, let me look at Galahad's entry here. 83.68. So you didn't get the first one, you did the second one. Where did you put the stop? Exit 81.95. That's fine. If you do get something late, you've got to make sure you get out of it profitable. So if you didn't take the first one and got the second one, Let's find and get out of here. Is anyone still in this at all? Like it literally is going to eighty dollars. Like I, I think it breaks eighty even. I mean, is that, I'm just wondering just for so. I'm not saying you even have any right to be in this because obviously I'm not. But I'm telling you, this is going to still go. Like this is so amazing. Like it's really just crazy. Is is anyone at all still in this? Like. This could go another two dollars from here. Like I'm just, I'm not even just saying that. Like it's just gonna do it while we're watching it. It's this is like sick now. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I, you can't possibly be piggy. I mean, we did the right thing today. We we traded this like expert. I mean, I I couldn't have traded this any better if I tried. But I'm telling you, this is going to eighty. West Coast P or West Coast. Were you here? Did you do it? Uh, shower singer, which is anonymous, whether it's a girl or a guy, except for I do know. Fossil out of half, 8185, and the rest 81. Still an MDAS. Okay, you did this. West Coast, good. Hey, Jennifer's going to get lucky today. Hold the conviction. Just because it didn't break through in there in the beginning and then that number, I know what you're worried about, but again, it goes to the gap rating. It's all about the gap rating. It's all about the gap rating. And I know you didn't do the class yet, but I'm telling you, this gap was good. That's how I know sometimes things are going to do it before they do it. What was the one? Shoot. Uh, what was the hard one? It started with an S that we did that I called to break and it did. And it actually did it like pretty early, which this isn't done, but it was one of those ones. Very similar. What was it called? It started with an S. Does anyone remember? Good, JJ. Good for you. I don't know if you're here the whole time or what, but Is anyone still in this at all? You don't have to PM me. All the comments are closed off. I'm just for so wondering if anyone's still in this, and no one's answering me, so I'm guessing not. I just want to look at something here. A West Coast is still in it? If this does go to 79, because if it goes to 80, I think it's going to 79. That would be, this is it's just so crazy. It would be $5.50 and, $5 from where I call it if it goes to 79. And, and, and I do think that's going to happen here. Let me just look at something in a minute. But, you know, we, we played it. With the, the, I, I'm not saying we should still be in this, but I'm just saying, like, I, I just want to. I just want to see something here. Just hold on one second. Yeah, this is this is going to. Actually, I'll tell you right exactly where this is going. It's going to seventy eight seventy ish. It's going to break seventy nine. <laughs> Let me just see this here. Eighty. 
I think the stock is going to move six dollars from where I called the entry, and I'm, and, and this is, it's and I said that this morning. I, I did the right thing here. This could have had such a crazy bounce after ten, but this stock is going to go to eighty, break it, and go to seventy nine something, and the target then is seventy eight seventy. This is this this is going to go six dollars where we took it. This is what I love about the trading and gaps and everything. I'm telling you it goes to 7870-ish. You could put an order out to fill you at 7875, 79, but it's 36 cents from 80, and there's no chance it's not breaking 80. And once this mojo gets under that number of 80.00, the sky is falling. You think the sky is falling now? The sky will fall under 80. And you better have your hand in the button to get out or in order to fill you. Let's just watch it. I, I almost called a trade here on the five minute chart, but that would have been ludicrous. But I almost did it, but it would have been ridiculous because I don't want anyone else to do anything else if you had gotten out of the whole thing because this is, was such a nice call. Look at this spread in it now, though. It's actually spreadier now than when we did it, I think. Let me look at this. Okay, you're, you're hanging in there, peoples. You have a fish named Ludicrous. That's funny. All right, any questions from anyone about anything? Let me just look at what's out tonight, and then I have to conserve my voice here. Because I just have to. But this is fabulous, and... I could talk about it for 10 hours. I mean, this is fabulous, 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 fabulous. We did it fabulous. It is fabulous. I'd go have a glass of wine if I wasn't sick and on so much medication that I can't have any alcohol. <laughs> uh, of course, it's also 10.30 in the morning. Uh, let me just look here at the bar. There's no big names out tonight, so we'll just let's just see what we get. Uh, there's really nothing like that's a big name out tonight. I mean, there's, don't get me wrong, there's like a thousand earnings, uh, but I don't see any biggies. And no one should be trading this afternoon because of the minutes. Not that there would be any reason for you to. That's funny, West Coast. All right, West Coast is in this. It's going down. I felt like we had a great exit, which we did, but this absolutely is fantastic and it's going to go to 80 like I said. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Good job everyone today. If you didn't get this because you were late, you got to pay attention in the morning. You have to pay attention in the morning. I, I, I think I'm the easiest person that actually runs a trading room that anyone could possibly follow because of the fact that I know what I'm watching before the open, which I tell you and put it in the room with all the numbers and it's on the screen and I also tell you. And I tell you before the trade even sets up. And then sometimes I tell you the trade before it even triggers what to do. So you have time to size yourself. I mean, it's just, I'm just the easiest person to follow. But I know these things happen fast. And in your mind, you have to figure out the sizing. You have to practice your arithmetic. I'd rather you take small size and not get it. Take 200 shares or something so you get it. Okay. Nice, solid day here in Fossil, no matter how you played it. And don't be upset if it goes to $75 or some crazy number. I'm not saying it's going to do that, but it's going to break 80. <laughs> we did everything right in here. It had a monster move in the morning. The pushback into 10 o'clock could have been major. The market's starting to show a little weakness here intraday at 1030. That's going to help get some mojo under the way in this. And it's just going to really crash when it breaks 80. There you go. You're getting you're getting this down. You could be out of this down in there. You could be out of almost the whole thing. I just want to watch this. I just want to see this. I just want to see this because this is what I like to see. And you know, by the way, I mean this is how I this is I look at this. This is what I'm talking about about price action, people. This is all you need to know to trade. All you need to know to trade is how to read price action, but you have to know how to read it in gaps. 
because I would never have gotten this call today. I would never have gotten the numbers. I would never have gotten anything. I wouldn't have been able to do what we did if I didn't have the 26-point rating system in the gap. So it is all based on the gap, but it's the price action. But the gap predicts, that's how I was able to predict this would do this today. And it is at $80, so... Let's just watch it break it. <laughs> Look at this. Do you think traders are moving the stock? Absolutely not. Do you see the stock is going whether we all took it in or out or any? We do not move these stocks. Look at this. This is a thing of beauty. Institutions move stocks. And that's how the stock is going this way today. High of the stock today is 85. This has moved $5 here today. This is phenomenal. And last night it closed. And look at this. Last night it closed at 99.32. 99.32. It's a beautiful play. It's a beautiful gap. All right. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? If not, you're on your own here with this. Just count your money and run. I don't have anything I really want to look at tonight because there are no namers. We'll just get up and see what we get in the morning. Everyone should have a wonderful day. No one should not have a wonderful day. And even MDAS, though it took, it's taking forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, is working. So Jennifer, I don't know if you killed it when you lost the conviction, but I told you don't worry about it because the gap was good. Again, it has to do about the gap. You watch the numbers for the targets, but the gap is what you're watching. Then you watch the price action in the gap. And this was okay. And that's going to break. And actually, the market's showing some weakness here, and I don't know what the market does. And I don't even care because I really don't care because we just did the fossil. Thanks, Jeff B. You're welcome. Thanks, Anna. Does anyone have any questions for me about anything? If not, I'm going to let everybody go early. Get on with your day and enjoy your life. This will break through, so just try to stay with it, but you can be out of half. And this is bouncing off 80. I don't see any reason to do another setup in this, but Fossil could set up in the 15 minute at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I'm long out of it, though. But this is probably the morning low, like it's 10.30, FYI, West Coast. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy. All right, email me if you need any of everything. Have a great day, everyone. Okay. And I will talk to you all soon. I'm going to rest up. If you're interested in the class, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. The class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. If you want to retake the class, email me. Some of you don't have to email me. I already know that you want to retake the class. You do not need to email me again. If you already emailed me about it. Red says, thank you for today, Melissa. You're welcome, Tony. Line 38 says, thanks again, Melissa. Have a great one. You're welcome. Well, we should just have fireworks every night here in the river. <laughs> I wonder how much the display costs. It was a pretty penny, I can tell you that. Okay, Stephen, good. Great Gatsby said a quick one. A quick what? What happened? What do you mean, Great Gatsby? It gapped. What do you mean? What do you mean, what happened? Did you just sign in? Great Gatsby, where have you been all morning? The stock gapped down this morning. Here, here it is. We played it. We were in this thing in like a millisecond. Look, boom. 8.30, but I've been talking later. I haven't been starting to talk right at 8.30, which actually is good. Is that that actually has proved to be good for all of us. It has nothing to do with me and my voice. Me focusing 
as late as I possibly can into the open has improved our exactness. So I'm going to keep doing that for now until some other things change. Okay, Jeffy, that's fine. Great Gatsby, you should see this stock gapping. It did happen last night, I think. Not that it matters. Whether it happened last night or this morning, it doesn't matter. It opened this morning. We traded it on a live day. I usually start to talk Nick Nick between 9 and 9.30-ish. But I write stuff in the room. At 8.30, I, I wrote this morning what the picks were. So you knew what to watch. Again, this is why following me is very simple. You have to read and you have to have ears to hear me. But it's not like I'm calling a million things. Great Gatsby, call the platform people and find out because you need to be able to see that gap. Or how are you going to see it? Yeah, you got to get that fixed. You have to get that fixed. All right, have a good day, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. Congratulations. All right, see you later.